Just how many school buses across the coastal bend actually have seat belts? We asked local school districts. Lydia Hedera is here live with what she found out. Lydia? Leslie, Mike? For a lot of our viewers, you may remember riding the school bus as a kid and not having any seatbelts. But in 2017, the Texas Senate passed SB 693, a law requiring seatbelts on any school bus used for transporting children. Across the coastal bend, school districts have a mixture of buses with and without seatbelts used to transport students and staff. Daniel E. Gavan with Alice ISD says the school district got 10 new school buses equipped with seatbelts last year. We cannot buy buses anymore that do not have seatbelts because uh, Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration has actually put out that uh, all of them have to come out with seat belts. Although Senate Bill 693 was passed, not all buses are required to be equipped with seat belts. The law only applies to buses bought by a school district after 2017. It's not required uh, to have seat belts on the older buses and the FMCSA regulations do not show that as far as the specs. CCISD Director of Transportation says they have 16 buses that do not have seat belts. Those are only used as spare buses for the district in case of emergencies. They're older model buses and they are scheduled to be auctioned off and uh, replaced here over the next two years. We checked in with the six largest school districts in our area to see the number of buses with and without seat belts. The only one that did not get back to us was Gregory Portland ISD. 90% of buses in CCISD have seat belts, while 10% do not. In Flower Bluff, 71% of buses have seat belts, while 29% do not. Alice ISD actually has more buses without seat belts. Only 24% of their buses have seat belts. 76% do not. 84% of buses in Callan ISD have seat belts, while 16% do not. And in Tulsa Midway ISD, 45% have seat belts and 55% do not. The bus crash in Billstrap County that killed two has forced many school districts like CCISD to consider how to make transportation safer for their students. Constantly, uh, safety is our, our number one priority, and, and we're constantly looking at ways to, to make things safer for the transport of our students. For 16 years, Rogelio de Leon has been a bus driver at Alice ISD, and he says the seatbelts help assure the parents their children will return home safely. My point of view is it will save a lot of lives, you know, on the school buses. The good news is that no new buses will be purchased without seatbelts, so these numbers can only improve. Leslie.